The war in Ukraine now in its second month since the war started. In February, people all over Puget Sound have been coming together to support the people of Ukraine. Yeah, Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman is in Linwood, where people gathered for a vigil for peace. Alejandra? Good evening, Jamie and David. I can tell you that tonight's vigil was a partnership between city council members and a local church hoping to educate and spread awareness about the life-threatening situations Ukrainians are currently facing and hoping that our community can lend a helping hand tonight. We're also learning that several dozen Ukrainian refugees are already taking shelter here in our community in Snohomish County. Pray, pray for, for especially, especially those, those that are, that are hurting. hurting in prayer. Ukrainian Americans were surrounded by friends and community leaders and members standing in solidarity with Ukraine. Remember those that are, have lost their lives. Praying for an end to the Russian invasion. I found myself just weeping in tears on the floor because it's, it hit home. It's very challenging. It's very tough. John and Vita Pedras are both Ukrainian American pastors who are hearing the concerns of their congregation. People are obviously hurting, um, hearts are broken. Pain Ukrainians living in Western Washington are facing as their loved ones continue to fight to stay alive. First thing in the morning, I text to Ukraine. And if I get back, we are alive. It's what I need. I don't need anything else. One by one, Ukrainian refugees share their stories. There are some of my cousins that are, um, their children are already military age, where they would be called to go fight. For them, it's, it's, it's a decision, do I go fight my own people? Or, or I get shot from the back from, from, from the Russian army. Because they didn't have gas and electricity, neighbors would take turns cooking outside because it was so unsafe. And one of the neighbors, while doing so, cooking this potluck, was actually shot and killed. Stories heard by Americans ready to step in and help. Refugees and Immigrant Services Northwest says as many as 50 Ukrainian refugees have already arrived in Snohomish County. They're overwhelmed and they begin to feel guilty because they are safe and they got the support from friend and family and community. A member. Director Van Dean Kuno says the majority of them families, fathers, mothers, and children as young as two years old who will receive financial, medical, and mental health support to get through this difficult time. Still, there's much more work to be done. We don't know what's going to happen to them, but if you have a chance today to do something good, do it. Refugee and Immigrant Services Northwest says they anticipate many more families to continue arriving and resettle in our community within the next weeks and months. Right now, though, the, the Image Church is also working with other organizations, nonprofits in Europe, Romania, and Poland to help those Ukrainians fleeing their country. We're going to be posting more information on how you can help on our website, fox13seattle.com. In Linwood, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News.